Hi everyone, this is Wei Chang here. Thank you very much for all the very positive uh, feedback and uh, comments that you gave for my video I did on Wednesday. I do apologize for the delay, but uh, as I said before, I'm really busy with classes. So I've got a bit of time now and I'm going to do this question. Um, people or, or teachers who are familiar with the secondary school syllabus and algebra will solve this using simultaneous equations. Uh, but there's actually a way to do it using the model method and uh, students typically start to encounter such a question in primary 4. So here we go. Three plates and two bowls cost $44. Two plates and two bowls cost $36. Find the cost of each bowl. Well, if you were to do this with simultaneous equations, you would let x be plates and y be bowls and so on and so forth. Form two equations and you can solve it. But how are we going to do it with the model? Well, here we go. Well, we do know that there are three plates and two bowls and they cost 44. So I will draw, okay, three plates, one, two, three. I will label it P for plates. Then two bowls here, and I'll go bowl. Now again, the size of the model here does not matter, okay? The model here is just a pictorial representation of what is here. And then we have two plates and two bowls cost $36. So I have here two plates. Okay, here's one, two, and we've got two bowls, cost 36. Alright, so here is a bowl and a bowl. So this part here is 44, and this part here is 36. Well, when you get to this point, you will see very clearly that this 36 here is actually hiding inside here. So to find this one plate, okay, it will be simply one plate. It's 44, you minus away 36, it's $8. Now, we put this $8 back inside here or here, it really doesn't matter. I would prefer to put it here because it's the number will be a little bit smaller. So, two plates would therefore be $16. And since the total of two plates and two bowls is 36, it will be 36 minus away 16, I get 20. And two bowls would be 20. One bowl would be 10. And there you have it. Simultaneous equations solved using the model method. Of course, there are many other ways to do this question. This is just one of the ways which I find to be pretty useful for the students that I teach. So here we go. Uh, like, share the, this video. Uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more in future and uh, for to, to look at the videos that I have done previously. In the meantime, it's Friday. Friday evening, have a good time with your family and have a great weekend ahead. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye-bye.